there, welcome to Learn How to Paint in Acrylics. My name is Michael Pickett and I'll be your instructor. Well, today's lesson will be a painting of a black lab. His name is Bear and he's just a little puppy. Isn't that right? Yeah, well, let's go to my studio. I'll show you how it's done. You ready, Bear? You ready for your portrait? You ready for your close up? <laughs> so cute. You are. Come on. Starring Bear, the Black Lab Puppy. Because it takes a long time to do a painting, the lesson was put in fast motion and narrated. Well, we're here at my studio, and there's the drawing of Bear. Now we'll get some black and a lot of water, and we will create a wash and cover the whole canvas. Now that the canvas is covered, we'll take a cotton sock, and we will lightly wipe the paint to the point you can see the pencil showing through the paint. Okay, now we'll start out with the eyes first. We'll get some black and we'll outline the eye. And we'll put in the pupil. Now we'll do the other eye. Painting an eye at an angle is only a half circle. Now we'll take our burnt sienna and we'll fill in the iris around the pupil and we'll blend it in as we go. Now we'll go over to the other side and we will put some burnt sienna there too. The pupil will be only a half circle. Now we'll work on the reflected light. We'll get some white and just a very touch of gray and create the sky and we'll put it on the top. Just a dab of burnt sienna but mostly white and it will create a really warm beige color. It will symbolize the sun reflection into the eye. So we have the sky, and then we have the sun. Now we'll just go ahead and blend that. Just add a little white to the side. 
to the top where the light is reflecting and we'll just add a little dot here and a dot there. Then we'll go ahead and blend that in and soften it up. And we'll bring some of the sky over just a little bit. Now we'll go over to the other side. Light gray to the top where the light is reflecting. Just add a little dot here and a dot there. Now we'll move over to the nose. We'll get some black and we'll start out with the nostrils first. We'll paint those in. And paint in the front of it. We'll add a touch of white to the black and create a gray. We're using our number two brush so we can cover a larger area. And we'll Fill in the top and the front. Now we'll go back to our number zero brush and we will put in some of the highlights where the light is hitting the bottom of the nostril. There we go. We'll fill in on some of the front, front left of the nose. Add a little gray as a reflected light for the bottom part of the nostril. We're going to outline it and clean it up a little bit. Okay, it's all coming together. Now we'll work on the whisker dots. Now that we've got our whisker dots in, we're going to start working on the mouth. Okay, we're going to take some black and we're going to put between the teeth and the tongue. And we're going to bring some of the black down. I'm going to add more black down to his chin.
and we're going to add a little bit of white to the black to create a gray to do around his mouth. Now we'll work on the teeth. We'll just get some white and a touch of burnt sienna. When we get it in, all we do is add the white on top of it, and then it looks round because you're putting your shadows in first and then you add your light to reflect on it and then boom there you got a fang all right we'll take that and we'll blend it in to the back of the teeth and now we will take some black and outline his gum And now we'll get some burnt sienna, a little more burnt sienna, and the black with the white. And we're going to create that part between the gums and the chin. And we're going to blend. And now we're going to add some more white. And we're going to add it in underneath the teeth. I'm not really blending my paints on my palette. I'm actually blending my paint on the canvas as I go. Now we'll add some white on the teeth. See? Makes those teeth look round. Isn't that cool? And we'll add some dots where the light's reflecting, where it's nice and wet and shiny. Okay, shadow a little bit back in there. Now we're going to come over to the front of his mouth, just underneath his front teeth. We're going to add some burnt sienna and white with just a touch of black. And we're going to fill that in. And we're going to bring it over around the corner there. We're going to get some white and we're going to make some of those areas look wet. Now burnt sienna and white, and we'll go ahead and frame in those teeth. There's six in the front. And now we'll paint around in the gums. Our number two brush with red. And then we're going to mix some black in with the red and create some shadows. Now we're going to get some white and red where we'll create a beautiful pink. And we're going to outline the tongue. We're going to make the tongue look round and wet. And 
Okay, if we get that blended in there towards the top, then we'll get some more white and we'll bring to the front. Add some white to our teeth. There we go. Nice, beautiful teeth. All right. We'll go ahead and paint some teeth there in the background where his tongue is. We'll blend in more of the red into the tongue with some white. Do some highlights as we go. There's the teeth in the background. In the front, underneath the teeth, we'll just add some more reflection, which is white. on his tongue too, to make it look wet. Shadow those teeth in the background. Da -da -da. Do some more highlights. We'll go ahead and brighten up that tongue. Now we're going to put in the background. Use your burnt sienna only. Straight out of the tube. We're going to fill in that entire background with burnt sienna, one solid color. There we go. Now we'll put a second coat on, which I'm finishing up now. We'll let that dry, and then we'll work on the black fur. We'll start on his chest first. We'll get some black and we'll fill it in. And we'll go into his ear. We'll fill in some more black there. Darkest colors first. We'll put in his eyebrows. Okay, we're going to add just a touch of white into the black and we're creating the gray. We're going to fill in the face around the nose and the eyes and the forehead.
and we're going to fill in the ear. Go around the body and fill in all the areas that we hadn't filled in. We're going to go around the black and fill that in. We've got all of our shadows in the fur. That's the best way to do it if you're painting black on black. You paint in all your shadows first and then you put in your grays and uh, then you blend it all in. And we're going to be adding a second layer. There we go. Put in the second layer already. And work around the nose. A little more white to the black, and we're going to bring up the highlights of the fur. And let it show up just a little bit more. Now we'll work on the bottom part of his mouth. You'll do some touch-ups here and there. Look at your photograph as you go. Now don't overdo it. You don't want to overdo your painting because you can ruin it. All right, let's go ahead and stop there on that one. Now take some white and burnt sienna and uh, we will fill in the background. We'll create kind of a beige color a little bit wider towards the body and we'll blend it up to a little bit darker burnt sienna to the top. There we go. And that's how you do that background. Ta-da! Just that easy. Quite fast. Okay, we're going to make the fur look like fur by fluffing them up. And how to do that, we're going to add the fur over the top of the background Go around the, the head and the body and the ears with lots of little lines and we will face them towards the direction that the fur should be laying. And that gives the optical illusion that it's fur.
He's so nice and fluffy. We're going to darken the whisker marks. Okay, just the position of the portrait, you're not going to be able to see any of his whiskers. So we will just won't paint them in because you won't be able to see them. So we'll just put in the whisker marks to show that he's got whiskers there. Now we're going to get a little more white into some black and brighten up more around the face to bring the parts that are more round to stand out more. Well, let's go ahead and sign our painting. Now that the painting's signed, we're going to paint the edges of the painting black. Now this is only optional. That's how you do a painting of a black lab puppy. Well, Bear and I are going to get some treats. Little dog treats. Yes, you are. Yes, you are so cute. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well, I'll see you next time and happy painting. Bye. Come on, Bear.